Hi, I'm Savanti, your Hadoop instructor. Welcome to educators.com. In this module, we are going to discuss about the types of hide clients and also the hide data model. When you are seeing the types of hide clients, there are n number of ways you can execute your program and write your program. The first and foremost thing is the hide client and this is the oldest one. And even in the latest version of this, you can see the message saying that the hide client has been depreciated. So here, but still, you can also use this old client and also we are going to see the what are the new clients available to connect to your hive. To connect to the hive client, just open your terminal part of your Cloudera Quick Start VM, wherein all the ecosystem components like hive and feed and everything is already installed. You need not done any of the installations. Directly log into your hive client, just go into your Cloudera Quick Start VM and just type hive that gets connected to your Hive shell wherein you can execute your Hive queries there. And here mainly the Hive client it will connect to the Hive server 1 instance and if you wanted to specify the host names and the port numbers and everything you can also use Hive hyphen H and give the host names and hyphen P and the ports. Otherwise directly log into the Cloudera to extract VM and directly type Hive. It works well. Let me log into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and show you how to log into my Hive shell. Uh, this is my Cloudera Quick Start VM. Just click on the terminal and here you can directly type Hive. It will open up your Hive shell wherein you can execute all your queries. You can type all your queries. And while it is logging in, you can also see a message saying that the high shell is depreciated. See here, high client is depreciated. Migration to the B line is recommended. So in some time, we are going to see what exactly is the B line client is. And once you got into the hive, you can do whatever you wanted to do. For example, I wanted to display the databases, show databases. It will display you all the databases, whatever available. By default, it simply gives you the default one, which comes with your hive. And you can also create the databases. The coming module, we are going to see how to create a database, how to create the tables, how to alter them, how to load the data, all of these details. And if you see the other type of client, is the B-line client. And this is the latest one. To write your high queries, you can use this. So what exactly the difference between your uh, uh, high client and the B-line client is nothing but it will be it will be using a new server called Hive Server 2. And when you compare with the Hive Server 1 with the Hive Server 2, Hive Server 2 is more secure and it implements the Kerberos authentication. More details will be seen in further sessions. What is this Kerberos? And this is one type of the authentication. It's more secure. And also this supports the multiple logins as well. Multiple users can connect to your uh, or you know the high server at a time. Uh, so here log into your B-line client. As we mentioned that it uses the high server too and to connect to this you require a JDBC protocol. That is the reason why this is the syntax. B-line hyphen U is the username and here you will be I mean hyphen U is the URL which you will be mentioning. The JDBC is the protocol and Hive 2 is the Hive Server 2 which you will be connecting. And here when you compare the differences between the Hive shell and the B-Line client, the way how you log in is different like B-Line, hyphen use and this. But once you log in, the commands are same. Whatever the commands you are executing like a show databases, create tables, there is no difference in executing the commands at all. And now to log into your B-Line client, just open another terminal. And here you can type B-Line and user, I mean, or the, your connection, the JDBC, colon, 
five two five two colon double slash. If you can connect it to your blank client, which is the latest client. And here also I can execute the same thing, show databases, which will be showing us the same database, which is the default database. See here it got connected. And if I execute the show databases, it is going to be from the same default database. And if you observe the previous high shell, here also you have seen the same default database. So there is no difference in executing the commands, but internally the right client is depreciated because it uses the high server one, wherein the line is the latest one which uses the high server two. In the path conversion, we will also we'll be having the JDBC and the ODBC driver. With the help of that, uh, you can even uh, connect to your hive with the help of using the JDBC and the ODBC protocol. And also here we will be having another client called the Beast Black client. A uh, Beast Black client is nothing but uh, uh, one whatever the queries we are executing till now we have seen in the hive shell and the beeline shell. But if you wanted to see it in the user interface, you can also do that with the help of the view and the client name, whatever is getting connected internally with the view is nothing but the BSLAC client. So let me show you how to connect to your BSLAC client from the Cloud Quick Start VM. Yes. So once you log into your Cloud Era Quick Start VM, you can see a Quick Start page. If your page is closed, you can Simply execute quick start dot cloud error colon double eight double eight. This is the port which opens this page. By default, this page will open up to you. And this, there is a queue is there. On the left side, beside the cloud error, there is a queue. To the user interface, just click on that queue. For the first time, if you wanted to set it up, just simply click on the next and it will uh, you know, set you a couple of uh, environment details. If you don't want anything, there is on top of this query editors are there. Just click on that query editor and now here you can see something called a hive. Just click on that hive. Right? So here this is the place where you can execute your query. And on the leftmost side you can see the database. That means earlier if you see this, what is the database name? Default. Right? So from here also you can see the same database. Right now we are having only one database, so that database name will display to you over here. If I have multiple, from this drop down I can choose which database I want to connect right now. If you want to execute any of the queries, you can directly execute some queries, select start from some tables or you know, whatever, if the table is already created. Otherwise you can also execute a create table statements and all of these things. We'll be seeing in our next modules like what is the syntax is to create a tables, create a databases, and using the select statements and all of those things. As here, with the help of the view hive editors, we are connecting to the hive. So internally it uses a client called BSWAC client. And apart from this, we will be also having another client called a quick client. So with the help of this, you can you can you will be Having the connectors to uh, use your other programming languages like C++, Java, Python, Ruby, any of the languages you can use them. You can execute this hive command with the help of the trick client. And hive data model. So here, at the outermost is the database, like whatever you wanted to create or tables, any of these things. But you must need to create a database first so that. It will hold all your tables, whatever you are going to create it. And the next one is the table. And here, with the help of the create table statement, we can create a, a multiple table, a different types of table. In the further module, uh, we are going to see how to create a database and how to alter the database. And also, what are the types of tables and how we are going to create those tables. For all the things which we will be discussing. And also as part of the hive data model, we will be having a partitions and buttons as well. So these things we mainly use to improve the performance. And we will be having a, we will be specifying at the time of creating the table, we will be 
using this partition key or class. So once you choose that particular key, it is going to create a subfolder in your warehouse directory. We will be discussing a uh, lot of other details in the partition also in the partition. We will be seeing a real time example of how we can create and which scenarios we are going to create in all of these things. Similar way, bucketing is also to include the performance, and uh, here we will be having a fixed number of the buckets. So it uses the hash algorithms to load this data into those specific buckets. Summary. So in this module, we have seen how to connect to the different types of clients, which is the hype client, B line client, B stack client, which is the user interface. Apart from this, we also understand that we can connect to the high with the help of the JDBC, ODBC protocols and the threat clients as well. And also if you wanted to store any kind of the tables, any kind of the data, outermost layer which holds is the database. So once you create a database, so the rest of the tables, whatever you are creating can be stored as part of that specific database. And also as part of the data model, we do have the partitions and the bucketing. This concept we will be mainly used into the performance. So in the next further modules, we will be discussing these data models in detail. Thank you. Let's start up in the next module.